Welcome to our ship tour of P&O Aurora. Aurora is a mid-sized cruise ship with an overall length of 270 metres and a beam of 32.2 metres. She has a gross tonnage of 76,152 tonnes and can accommodate up to 1,878 passengers in 939 cabins with a crew of 936. Aurora is powered by four diesel engines generating 78,800 brake horsepower. The ship's service speed is 24 knots, though during sea trials she reached a maximum of 29 knots and currently holds a golden cockpit for being the fastest P&O ship. Aurora was designed to appeal to the British market and has features similar to more traditional ocean liners, including her beautiful tiered stern. So let's begin our tour on Deck 5, where you'll find the Loyalty and Future Cruises desk and the reception area, which is also the bottom of the atrium. Here you'll find Aurora's gallery, where you'll see a collection of emblems and gifts that she's received from her travels around the world. Also to be found here is Aurora's beautiful staircase and of course the water feature that stretches over three decks. We move up those beautiful staircases now to Deck 6 where you'll find the Explorer's Excursion Desk, a selection of shops, and in the middle of the ship you'll find the Medina Restaurant and at the rear the Alexandra Restaurant which is only accessible from the rear stairwell on Deck 7. On Aurora, decks 7 and 8 are the main public entertainment areas, so let's continue our tour on deck 7. At the bow of the ship, you'll find the Curzon Theatre. This is the venue for twice nightly shows and can seat up to 650 people. It's used for lectures and enrichment talks during the day, guest artists and full-on production shows during the evening. As we leave the Curzon Theatre on Deck 7, we come to one of our favourite venues, Anderson's Bar. Its decor resembles a comfortable gentleman's club. It's an ideal place to meet for a pre-dinner drink or spend the evening with new friends, chatting and soaking up the atmosphere. Leaving Anderson's, you come to Charlie's, a champagne bar that is serviced from Anderson's and has a piano for your entertainment. Next to Charlie's, another small shopping area which will lead you on to the central lifts. Our next entertainment venue on Deck 7 is Masquerades. During the day it hosts choir rehearsals and bingo. In the evening you can find game shows or dancing and late at night it transforms into the nightclub. Moving further back along the ship, we come to the casino, which has a variety of slots and tables for you to test the fates. The art gallery is found in the corridor that leads to Champions, which is Aurora's traditional sports pub. You will find the walls adorned with sports memorabilia, and this is where live football matches are often shown. It's also a venue for race nights, karaoke and live music. At the aft of the ship, you'll find Carmen's, which is a show lounge. It hosts many activities, including line dancing during the daytime. It's also one of the venues that's used for the captain's welcome on board and royalty parties. In the evening, there can be bands, comedians, singers and the occasional production show there. Another very important part of Deck 7 for us is outside, where you have a full wraparound promenade deck with beautiful teak decking. And 3.2 times around the deck equals a mile in distance, a really nice place to get your exercise. We move up now to Deck 8, where at the aft of the ship you'll find the terrace pool 
and the stunningly beautiful tiered rear of Aurora. Moving inside now, through the newly added passenger cabins, we come to the Glass House. The Glass House is a speciality dining experience, headed up by the irrepressible Ollie Smith, one of P&O Cruise's food heroes. Whether it's a quick bite at lunchtime, or an informal dining experience at night, it gives you the opportunity to try a few specially selected wines that are not available anywhere else on the ship. As we continue to move along deck 8, we come to the photo gallery. At the time of making this film, there were no photographers on board Aurora. Also situated in this area now is the florist, where you can choose a beautiful selection of flowers, either as decoration for your cabin, or maybe a gift for a loved one. Deck 8 is also the location for the Playhouse Theatre, which is a dedicated cinema. Here you'll find a selection of films shown throughout the days for your enjoyment. Vanderbilt's is the home of Bridge, Whist, Puzzles and board games on board. A place for quiet social interaction, or if you wish to, just to read a book. Raffles Bar and Coffee Shop is the home of Costa Coffee on Aurora. This sophisticated area embraces Aurora's Art Deco styling. And when you purchase a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, there's a range of sweet treats and cookies available for you to enjoy free of charge. Sindhu is an Asian fusion restaurant on board that has weekly menus and occasionally a chance to sample tiffin at lunchtime. Sindhu is also the breakfast venue for those guests lucky enough to be travelling in a suite. Decks 9, 10 and most of 11 are passenger cabins. However, on deck 11 midships you'll find the gym and this is what it looks like. It's full of up-to-date gym equipment and also is the venue for many training sessions which are available at an extra cost. We'll move up now one more flight of stairs to deck 12. At the aft of the ship where you'll find one of our favourite places to sit, have a drink and just watch the wake view. The pennant bar. In the evenings you'll also be able to enjoy al fresco dining which is available from the beach house which is a speciality dining venue situated in the aft of the horizon buffet on the starboard side. This is only available in the evenings. The Beach House is an American influenced dining option, served in a fun and informal setting, inspired by South American, Caribbean and stateside cuisines. The Beach House menu offers hearty dishes and comfort food favourites. Highlights include steaks, ribs, grills, burgers, hanging kebabs and a wide range of sharing dishes. As we move forward on Deck 12, we come to the Horizon Court Buffet, where you'll find breakfast, lunch, and evening meal served, and even an afternoon tea. Continuing to move forward on deck 12, we arrive at the Crystal Pool. The Crystal Pool is a swimming pool area, including some hot tubs, that also has the added benefit of a retractable roof. There is plenty of seating in this area, and it leads into the ice cream kiosk, the Crystal Bar, and the Lido Grill, where you can get hot dogs, burgers, and various other fast food items, all included. Also available on Deck 12 is the Oasis Spa with saunas, steam rooms and a wide range of treatments available. Deck 12 is also the home of Aurora's second main pool, the Riviera Pool, which also has its accompanying bar, aptly named the Riviera Bar. Up now to Deck 13 where at the very front of the ship you'll find the crow's nest. The crow's nest is an observation lounge by day and is very popular for coffee, reading and craft lessons. During the evening it becomes a sophisticated bar with live music and a good choice of drinks and cocktails. 
Next to the crow's nest, you'll find the library on board Aurora, where you can borrow books or maybe just sit and relax whilst gazing out of the window. Deck 13 on Aurora is also the sun deck, where you can sit and relax and soak up the sun's rays. Or if you're feeling a little more energetic, why not take part in some sporting activities? There are golf nets and a multi-purpose sporting area that hosts football, cricket, basketball and tennis. If that's not your preference, then maybe you prefer more traditional deck sports such as quoits or shuffleboard. Aurora is able to offer all of these choices and do get involved because it's such good fun. Well, that brings us to the end of our quick tour around Aurora. I hope you found it both interesting and helpful. If that is the case, perhaps you'd subscribe to our channel where you'll find other ship's tours and hit the notification bell to be informed when any new content is uploaded. Thanks for watching and goodbye.